going live, maybe. It's being live streamed. Hello, hello everyone. Happy, good, amazing, or weird evening, whatever evening it is for you. Maybe it's not even evening. Happy time for you. <laughs> so happy moments. Happy <laughs> moments. <laughs> hello, Satu. Hello, everyone. Um, weird moments or whatever but I'm here with my friend Joya from Italy oh. hello Joya ciao 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 a tutti <laughs> and today we'll be talking about um something interesting yeah let's see <laughs> <laughs> basically what's happening here is that um we were in Paris what seems like a long time ago and we had <laughs> like it was not even one month. <laughs> well, not right now, but in the past, we were in Paris and we had some really cool conversations about actualizing. And then somehow that led into the creation and actualization of a class called Making It Happen. And then we were like, oh, let's do a Facebook Live and let's actually like talk a bit about this. And then we were both like, what were we supposed to do? <laughs> so I hope we will contribute some different energy to you this evening and what are the infinite possibilities yeah um thanks for reminding uh how we came up with this idea <laughs> which is like uh one of the things I'm very grateful for is that um having spent time with you and having such deep conversation with you. And uh, I was just wondering now that I remember like, wow, how much when you really are with someone who cares a lot about empowering people and empowering you, you can change things on a dime. And the moment I was realizing that, I was like, wow, the actualization part was beginning to have a different taste. Because <laughs> yeah. the speed of that, it's something that it's really beyond this reality. And I was looking at how much I was used to that energy of fighting, like it cannot be real, it can visualize stuff. Your internet is breaking up. I hope it's not me because that would be weird. Are you still there with that? Uh, I can listen. I can see you. You can see me. I am. Here. No, no, I'm here. I wonder if that's my internet. <laughs> Let me try and open the door. I can helps. see you. I can see it. You're breaking up a lot for me. This weird thing sometimes when the internet doesn't <laughs> work if the door is closed. Are you there? Oh, can you see? I am. Are you? I am here. Hello, internet world. What would it take to actualize <laughs> a functional internet for this life? I think maybe now it works. Although I see, I can see. weird like slow-mo. <laughs> I can see you and hear you. It might be my internet, but that's weird. Oh, well. So, I don't know where we stopped, but I was anyways going to go like, hey, let's go a little bit back to like what I put the title for this live as SOS, it ain't happening. And also that thing like when a big thing in the world right now is the word manifest. Like everybody is like, I'm manifesting, I'm manifesting, I'm manifesting. Like I will manifest. I'm like, what are you manifesting exactly? And the thing there with the word manifest is that 
it actually means how something shows up. So you are, when you say that you will manifest something, you keep talking about in what shape could it maybe show up. You're not actually making it happen at all. Sometimes it may happen when there's these other elements that come to play as you accidentally actualize things while you talk about manifesting, but it's just making the universe's job really difficult because you keep talking about like green sofa, green sofa, green sofa, green sofa. And the universe is like, what do you mean? Like, do you want it or do you hate it? Or what's like, what's up with the green sofa? Because <laughs> you keep like manifesting green sofa. So you're saying like, the shape of this is green sofa. <laughs> Instead of going like, could I please have this? What would it take to actualize this? Like make it actual thing, to make it show up in this world, in this physical world or in your life so that's the kind of difference that I wanted to start with like what's the difference between manifesting and actualizing and why maybe when you have tried to manifest something it didn't show up so that was one thing I wanted to say so I don't know where you were going after like my internet apparently went crazy <laughs> and do you see me now yes it's okay. all perfect okay amazing um yeah, thanks for saying that. And because um, many times, like manifestation and actualizations, actualization get confused. And as you were saying, it's like, no, it's like we are talking about two different stuff. It's not the same. So, you know, the manifestation technique, it's like you maybe want to ask some more questions, <laughs> not just the manifestation technique. I like, there are some videos talking about this manifestation technique and it's like, um, what presumptive reality is and what points of view do you have about actualized stuff that it might be difficult, it's hard, you don't know how to do, you might have learned before or study, I don't know, at university in order to actualize them, or you have to be the most brilliant person in the world to actualize them, or that you're not lucky enough, for example. Yeah. Or that you're lazy. <laughs> and I think that's actually the cool point about like the word manifest, because people think that if they just like somehow stated in the perfect way that somebody taught them somewhere, then you will be lucky enough that somebody else will gift it to you instead of you actually being the source, the power behind it and going like, what does it take to actualize this? Oh, because uh, thanks for saying that, because you notice when sometimes we ask things that we would like in our life and we are talking about the manifestation level and then the actualization level is, is treated as if it wasn't our responsibility, quote unquote. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna ask for this, but then for that to actu actually act being act actualized, it's totally another story. <laughs> it's out of my hands. It's out of my hands. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't have anything to do. And this is, wow, I'm just seeing that now, the energy of that, uh, how many things we think are not under our hands, as you were saying, just because the how, it's not our job. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's like, boom. <laughs> boom. Exactly. So how is it actually your job? Your job is to be the energy that feeds the creation of the thing and you can create it together with the universe and with everything that desires to contribute to you but like I would say that what a lot of us have been doing we have put ourselves like let's say there's a creation party and there's different roles like this is this creature's role and this is universe's role and this is your role and this is this energy's role in this creation and we have totally mixed them up like you are trying to do the universe's job and the universe is like ah and then there's these other creatures, like all of their roles are totally like mixed up and messed up and they're sitting in their wrong seats in the table. <laughs> so this is about like you actually finding what is your role in this universal play of 
creation and generation and actualization what is it that you actually are there to contribute what can you contribute that would actualize things not play someone else's part and then wonder why things don't work uh, yeah that was a beautiful example and um i'm wow how much do we think that control will give us what we we're dreaming about about you know yeah. I, like, have to, I have to just out you here <laughs> sorry because we were at the class where I actually <laughs> met Joya in the spring and then she was trying to ask a question from Dane here who was facilitating the class and they named her Miss Control oh the controller the controller and she's like <laughs> <laughs> but I had this question it was supposed to go in this direction and now you're like drawing this here and it's like what so yeah and like not to say that I haven't controlled I absolutely have and in the past um, actually this whole past few weeks of classes have really brought up how much control I have used in like totally wrong place like control comes from the fact that you do have a ton of power yeah what are you controlling for are you controlling to keep your limitations or are you controlling or using your power of creation to actualize something greater yeah and um at the moment i said control i i knew we were going there <laughs> so i was like but like uh the moment when sato uh, the day after or the evening after that she was calling me controller i was like what, what are you talking about? Because <laughs> I wouldn't even remember about it, receiving the facilitation. But that part, I was like, I never heard about it. They, he didn't say that. I didn't, I didn't hear it. And Sato was like, yes, he did. I'm like, no, <laughs> that's not. So, um, but even that, like how much, sorry, I was beginning with one conversation, but, um, how much when we can make fun of that stuff can we actually change what's mm -hmm. up in our world because we don't make it serious we don't make it personal so for example i know a lot of people when we're talking about control uh not that i live in italy uh and they're saying hey this like there's an, an amount of control there the automatic response will be the one of defending the control it's like you don't touch it, you know? Non toccare. Uh, non toccare, exactly. Oh my God. How do you know that non toccare? <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Because I was, I was in Italy, I was staying in Milan at this Airbnb and that, uh, there was this sign in this one part that said that. And so that's why I know that one phrase. So I love it. Exactly. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> Don't touch it. It's basically in Italian, and um, and whereas control, as the um, I don't know if you guys have ever read the How to Become Money workbook, the one like people who are listening to us now or in the future, there is control. There is the component of control, and the control is also that energy that you can be when you see limitations coming up in your world and you're being controlled in terms of I am not going to buy them as real and true yeah which is totally different than controlling things yeah. in your existence yeah and there's a thing of like is it what are you controlling for for something greater or something less I really like what is the power there and if you do have a lot of power to control you do have a lot of power to create as well because all of that is a creation. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so um, I wonder for people that are listening to us, um, I'm very curious, like, which are the places where you go when things ain't happening? <laughs> SOS, like, things ain't happening. What the fuck? Because <laughs> one of the things for me, like, I noticed is going into wrongness directly that will be my automatic 
it was my automatic uh, response of, oh, I'm, I'm wrong. And when I see I'm... about yeah. the thing, like when you go into like, oh, like something didn't go the way that I wanted, I am wrong. That is a way to control you, but not for possibilities, for towards limitation. And that's exactly what you were, were saying before. What if it everything is the opposite of what it appears to be? You can flip it. Yeah. And what's possible there? No. Uh, so um, this is actually one of the things that helped me a lot uh, with this conversation around actualization and control and make things happening and all sort of stuff. Not to make it relevant, but looking at, OK, which are the automatic pilots, you know, that I use to stop everything. Yeah. And again, not to make it relevant, but just to acknowledge them. And wow, this is not me. This is not being me. So how much are you not being you when you want to actualize stuff? Yeah. And one of the things that I would say is that we have that clearing. I was just thought I had it. Oh have it here about being out of control so um that's actually i'm gonna find it and i'm gonna say it and pretty out of control here no where are you mm -hmm. yeah so with energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic, miracles, mysteries, possibilities, power, potency, can you be to be out of control, out of definition, out of limitation, out of form, structure, and significance, out of linearities, and out of concentricities with all creations, manifestations, and actualizations? So that's something that you can start asking. Like I would ask in those moments when you just go into that stuck point of like, ah, ain't happening. So you start asking that because you know how stuck place that is. And then you have to get to that like out of control, out of control and add more chaos so that you don't just keep staring at that wall. And another thing that I really like to look at when, for example, there was some class creation and nobody signed up for that class. And then the hosts were like, they weren't quite saying it but there was quite a bit of wrongness like they did something wrong or you know wrong 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 and I was like it's not wrong it's information like it's literally just information that shows like okay this class in this way at this time with this combination of people isn't working like it isn't bringing in people to the class so what's required and what can be changed what can be acknowledged what questions can be asked. And one of the things is to look at, is now the time? You know how impatient we are? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> can I have it yesterday? Can I have it, yeah, yesterday? <laughs> and that's actually a cool thing that I just had this experience of buying this necklace that I have right now. And um, so I was at this access class and they had these uh, different um, beautiful jewelry there to do for you to try on, to receive from, and maybe buy if you'd like. And I found this necklace and I was like, well, it's a long story what happened. I wrote a whole story about it. You can read it somewhere. We'll link it here. But anyway, have, so then in, the, then in the end, um, got to this point where my bank would not move the money on that day like they could only do it in small parts and it would take time and all and I was so frustrated like I want it now I freaking want it right now I can I know I can I have the money why can I not have it now but then I got like wait a second I have chosen this mm -hmm. I will have it no matter how long it takes but I'm willing to do whatever it takes including wait wow so and then it turned out that didn't have to wait and, you know, all kinds of things made it all work out. But the moment when I was willing to go like, okay, whatever it takes, even if it takes time, I'm still having this. So I wonder with how many things that you'd like to 
create in your life and then you give up because you don't have them yet or you don't even go there because you know that you cannot have them today and and how much are you not even asking what you would like to have or to create because you think you can have it or yeah. it ain't happening <laughs> yeah because yeah. because it, it ain't happening immediately because that the whole idea of like it ain't happening it's so tied to time but how do you know that it doesn't happen tomorrow or 50 years from now like if you keep going that direction it most likely will happen so the whole idea like it's it's not happening it's just because of time you think so yeah and also when you were saying the moment i included waiting it changed yeah so even in that that's the magic also of, of actualization so when we are really willing to be present with what is it that we are creating and we start to ask questions like what's required what question can i be what else uh is available here that i haven't considered and we, we start to also acknowledge the places where we are avoiding or fighting as i was saying before something and then we include that thing things can change so yeah. dynamically and you're like oh i have the necklace now here <laughs> already in my neck <laughs> exactly and my wonder how much are we all and are you not you sato but i mean all of use. us of course use In general use <laughs> exactly be willing to be so much different than everyone in the planet because that power and potency and magic of actualization it's something that you can really it can really be so dynamic also if you're willing to be so much out of control and so much different with your yeah. capacities as well yeah. and this is also i cannot wait for this class because i'm very impressed also the way sato talks about it so uh you might <laughs> because yeah she's not know. avoiding at all what she knows i mean she was <laughs> When we had the conversations, goodness. So I look forward to uh, Joya getting out of control and <laughs> contributing everything that she knows. She's the black one. She's the bad person. I'm the white one. I'm the perfect one. So <laughs> that's how we'll work out. She'll be the bad police and I'll be the good one. And, you know, we'll have fun. <laughs> You'll be the blonde angel and I'll be the bad police. And don't, non toccare. No, don't touch me. <laughs> well, it's an online class. So non toccare. <laughs> yeah like wow it's a beautiful yeah. topic and yeah i hope that has contributed in some way uh, yeah. and if you have questions also um for us just feel free to put them in the comments and we might also come with another come up with another live before the class who knows <laughs> i also want to add like this thing how don't think that this is hard work it's literally just that like reorienting few things and adjusting few things how they are in your head like just a word manifesting and actualizing just to change that that will actually start creating more and more and more changes and like t taking a class like making it happen it's not going to be like pounding hard work it's literally my sense is going to be quite relaxing fun relaxing and you'll find the lightness when you actually acknowledge what's true. Yeah, what if it was easy, light, yeah, and exactly. fun? What if that's your reality and you have never considered? Because you, we are so much familiar with the hard work and we didn't like the force of stuff. Yeah. Like putting things into like under pressure and it's, it seems is your reality just because you're very familiar to it. Yeah. The moment you start to ponder, oh, there are other energies which are, which are lighter, more expansive, more generative. And your energy, your being, your life will start to get familiar also with those, but you have to choose it also. So that's also our invitation. How much are you willing to step up? <laughs> I got so many other things too. I'm like, oh, and that thing, and that thing, and that thing. So yeah, I so look forward to this class. Let's go. Can we have it already? Well, 
we yes, will have it. We will <laughs> have it on its time, which is December 7th in the evening. It's an online access consciousness clarity evening class with myself and Miss Joya. And um, yeah, look forward to making things happen with you all. What are the infinite possibilities? Thanks so much. Thank Please. you. Thank you all for watching it. <laughs> good night, good times, happy moments. Bye-bye. <laughs>